Halfway up the coast of California, in a small town called Cambria Pines, there are a lot of expensive homes built out of mahogany and marble. And then there's Art Beale's place, built out of leftovers. Most of the people who moved here wanted a view of the ocean. Instead, some of them got a view of Art Beale's place. Art started hand building his home 51 years ago and still isn't finished. Art's unfinished home may be his castle, but to some of his neighbors, it's a complete mess. It still is exactly what it started out to be, just a bunch of garbage and junk. Welcome to Nitwit Ridge. Art's friends nicknamed his San Simeon Nitwit Ridge, and they nicknamed his 81-year-old bachelor Tinkerpaw. The reason they call me Tinkerpaw, I tinker with my paws. I started this in 1928. There was nothing here. More junk I could collect, keep building up, building up. <clears throat> Most of this lumber came right out of the ocean. All of this stuff was done with idiot sticks, pick and a shovel. And the only help I had was me, myself, and I, the three of us. It's like a lot of times they come out, how'd you do that? I said, well, I just take a little baking powder here, and then I go get some flour over here. Uh, baking powder is cement, and uh, flour is sand. But I never realized that I'd do this, or could do it. And I didn't know more about it than uh, uh, Pink did about wearing a rubber shirt in a rainy day. Yeah. The ecologists in this area are making a champion of him. And I'm classified as a little bit T.H. off upstairs in the head. And I put a lot of crazy stuff here and there. But some of Art's ideas may not be so crazy. On the wall, he has hung his and hers toilet seats, which he found in the dump, because he thought they were the perfect picture frames for movie stars. So a lot of my idols here is old Ken Maynard, the first cowpoke in the silent days. There's three of us live here, and I live with two ladies. Mother Earth and Dame Nature. <laughs> well, this is my refueling station, where I take care of the master. And all of this stuff in here is all salvaged. Somewhere along my life trail, I picked it up. That stove there is part of three different stoves. And then I even pickle my North Beach perfume. That's garlic. You put it in vinegar and pickle it, and there's, boy, is that delicious. You see, an apple a day keeps a doctor away, but an onion and a garlic a day keeps everyone away. <laughs> <laughs> Only a fool laughs at their own jokes. Well, Nitwit Ridge is nothing but a pile of junk. It's jealousy. Ignorant envy is jealousy. I feel very sorry for the people that live uh, on either side of it, on top of it, or underneath it. His home is a true piece of folk art and we'd like to see it preserved. It was built out of uh, junk, and it still is a piece of junk. Now, if I'm such a nut, and this is such an eyesore, what the hell, Madam Rich Bitch and Dr. Stupin take it up here and silk stocking row and money bags, eh? What'd they move in here for? Well, I think some people do think he's crazy, but I think he's pretty smart. He's like a fox. He's nothing but a bad builder. Well, everyone to their own liking, as the old gal said when she kissed the bull. Art has no wife, no children, no family. And aside from his home, his one other love is the poetry that he writes. At the end of each day, now that he's reaching the end of his days, Art sits down and reads one aloud to himself and to the ocean. I'm lost without him, and I can't see with him, I can't see without him. Damn good man, a shape of me, huh? <laughs> so there's one poem here. The name is Give Me a Heart. Give me a heart with sweet smiles round me reading with truthful and loving affections beating. Give me a heart of a pal of tested worth. I want a heart to dream upon, not just mirth. Give me a heart of love with fondness creating, a heart that flutters when our lips are meeting. <laughs>